with Heart and Home Orlando and today we're going to take a look at a inventory home, a quick move in home here in a community called Vistas at Water's Edge, which is an MI Homes community here in Apopka, Florida. We're going to talk a little bit about Apopka in a minute, but first I want you to see the exterior elevation here of this beautiful home. I love that it has the um, covered front porch, it has the stonework on the columns, the pavers, it is absolutely beautiful. So this is their Carina 2 floor plan and we have a couple of videos of this floor plan including a video of their actual decorated model of the same exact floor plan which is fabulous. This home we're going to focus on um, the flow of course but we're also going to take a look at the design options that are chosen because again remember this home is available now. Um, this one just as a point of reference uh, 2,958 square feet that includes the bonus room that's upstairs, four bedrooms, four baths and this one is currently at the time of video priced at about 465. So 465,000 give or take not guaranteeing because prices do change all the time. Uh, incentives also change. So take a look at this. First of all we're going to take a peek at the floor. So this is your 12 by 24 inch tile plank that is extended throughout the front foyer, the hallway, the family room space, kitchen space, and even here into the bathroom and the little foyer between the two bedrooms. And when I say two bedrooms, I mean these two bedrooms. So as soon as you come in through the front door, you're going to have this little wing over here where you have two bedrooms and a full bath that those two rooms are going to share. So bedroom one located here at the front of the home, beautiful windows that look out to that covered front porch so that's beautiful beautiful you have the bifold doors to your closet I also want you to notice that not only do you have tall ceilings but you have the upgraded taller doors as well so you have a full bathroom over here your single sink vanity with a quartz counter white cabinet same flooring and then you have the white tile that goes into the um, the tub shower combo so here is bedroom two again very comparable in size to the first bedroom that we saw at the front of the home same type of bifold doors for your closet space. So off the bat, we are already two bedrooms down and a full bath and we haven't even gotten into the main part of the home. <clears throat> Excuse me. So one thing I want to point out is this right here. This is, um, and then I say this because in the, um, in the model home guided video tour, we talked a little bit about a flex space. Um, and because this is such a popular floor plan and they build it in so many communities, this is a good way to kind of reference what the difference is. So for instance, this is your typical garage. It is considered a two car garage because you only have the door that accesses for two. But do you see this third bay? It's not accessible from the front, but it is absolutely another bay's worth of storage. And that's the way this home shows. The other way that this could be is that this space right here is a flex space. So you, this would actually become another room in your home. So it could be an office space. Okay, so putting that aside over here to my left, to your right, it's going to be your laundry room. So in this case, you not only have a great laundry spot, they've already done the utility sink with the counter and cabinet. They've done the shelving. And then back over here in this little nook, you've got the great spot. I mean, personally, that's where the dog dishes or the cat litter box or something could be tucked under there if you are a fur mom or dad um, or you could also put your extra rolls of toilet paper if you need to. All right, so here we are in the main hub of the home. So let your eyes take in all the beautiful design options that they've chosen. <clears throat> so your kitchen space, you have white cabinets, you have the darker bronze um, kind of contrasting hardware, which is really stunning. I love it. So the white cabinets, they've done the crown molding up top. Of course, it's in my home, so they have vented to the outside. That's what this means. If you look right here, you'll see that box. That means that it has been vented to the outside. And what that means is if you happen to be cooking smelly foods or you burn it like I do, then you turn on the vent and it will just suck all that stuff right to the outside. So beautiful cabinets and counters. You have the farmhouse sink. You've also got your refrigerator spot, your your pantry let's look at the pantry size and then I do want to point something else out because a lot of um, I know a lot of you reference back to these videos and you learn little tips so here's one of them for you so we talk a lot about gourmet kitchen options this home does not have the gourmet kitchen option so one of the things that a gourmet kitchen option gives you in most cases is a, a double oven two two built-in double ovens now some of the builders it's actually still just one oven but your microwave convection is up above it and then this becomes a flat cooktop when you do a double oven option you would lose about this much space of your cabinet and counter because this becomes your double wall oven okay stay with me there's a point so that you lose this part because this is double oven this would be a flat cooktop and this is typically your hood vent now 
This is what I would do. This is what we did in my house. So this is still, I still get my double oven. Do you see this? I can still do cookies, casseroles, pizzas here in the, in the uh, more narrow one. And I can still do my ham and my turkey or something that's bigger here on the bottom. I still can cook two things at once. I can get all my holiday meals, as if, um, all of those cooked and baked but I didn't lose my cabinet and counter space. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. I'm saying that is a fabulous option to get the cooking capacity without losing your cabinet and counter. Okay, so right here is your informal dining spot. It has beautiful triple sliders that are gonna go out to your um, covered lanai that's got pavers on it. It also has a gas stub out, so if you're gonna do a summer kitchen, you can add that in after the fact. You can also get a little sneak peek, and I'm sure you'll see it in the drone video and things that we do, of the backyard. There is an incline. It does go up to that wall. It gives you a lot of privacy. I can think right now how much fun and how exhausted my dogs would be. Run up, run down five times, throw that tennis ball, they're done for the day. All right, so your uh, informal dining. Now, over here, um, and I really love the way that the decorated model has this kind of designated. This chandelier kind of um, indicates that this would be where your uh, formal dining would be. And that's what they do. They have a big round table. It's beautiful. But the reality is you can use this space however you want. You can remove that fixture. Don't make it a dine, uh, like a dining room chandelier. And you could create all of this space as your family room space. So that would be a personal preference. Just <clears throat> let me know what you're going to do there. So here, this is what I like about this is this is recent. So you've got about two feet, I guess, worth of a recessed wall here. So any of your built-ins or your TV entertainment center can be here and pushed back so it doesn't kind of go into your walking space. Okay, so let's hit this bedroom over here because I don't want to forget it. So we saw the two bedrooms that were up front. And over here, we have a bedroom behind me and another full bath to the side. So over here, your bathroom, um, you still have the single sink. You have quartz counter and you have the shower. And then back over here is your third bedroom of the four. And again, all these bedrooms are very generous in size. They're all comparable to one another as well. And they all have the, um, the bifold doors. So if you don't need four bedrooms, but you need an office space, you could use one of those bedrooms. All right, so the master bedroom is tucked back over here. Beautiful master bedroom, really big, nice big tray ceiling. You have your central lighting fixture. By the way, your central lighting fixtures in most cases are braced to hold a ceiling fan or an even larger um, fixture. So if you wanted something a little bit more elaborate or if you just at the very least wanted a fan to circulate, that is braced to hold that. So back over here is your um, in your master bathroom and in this case you get both the tub and the shower um, that has become I won't say it's a controversy but it is definitely a talking point among clients um, buyers sellers builders as to what they want what they need and what the builder offers and provides so over here, I want you to take a peek at the countertop. You have beautiful granite counters. You have the white cabinet still with the, um, with the bronze hardware, which is beautiful. Big mirror here. You have linen closet. You have privacy door for the toilet. And then back behind me, you have a nice big shower. Uh, shower. This would be the closet. Um, so the thing I like about this, and that this really has to be said. So I do a lot of video tours. I go through a lot of model homes and through inventory homes and this builder, this is your closet. They've given you not just one row of shelving, but they've gone ahead and given you two rows of shelving all the way around. They've given you a shoe rack here and two more rows up here. And that's actually pretty generous because in most cases you're gonna get one wire, one that goes all the way around and that's it. So kudos to you, MI, for actually being pretty practical when it comes to that master closet. Okay, so we're gonna head upstairs because remember we talked about the fact that this Karina 2 is a one story with the bonus room. And when I say bonus room, I mean wow it's an awesome bonus room so as we're going take note here that you have the stains um, railing and you have the iron spindles you also have the beautiful upgraded wood flooring um, on the staircase what you also have upstairs which is really smart because we just changed all of our carpet from our game room upstairs into floors uh, hard floors and you hear a lot downstairs so I think the carpet in the bonus room is an absolute a plus so if I could go back in time I might have rethought that but look at this room this room is enormous so when you talk I mean look at this so from corner to corner 
This is gigantic. You really truly can um, kind of create and designate different spaces in here. The model home shows that with like a wet bar option. So certainly a good opportunity for some sort of a built-in. You've got lots of space here. You do have a full bath and a closet. So this is not technically considered a fifth bedroom, but if you really wanted to, if you needed to, after you closed on this home, you could create some sort of a partition right here and you could have both bedroom with its own private bathroom and closet and like apartment type thing. So lots of great opportunities for this really well designed home. So remember, this one that we're looking at right now could be your home. This is a Carina 2 inventory or a quick move in home located in a beautiful MI Homes community here in Apopka. So if you are interested in getting more information about this home, other floor plans, this community, other communities where you can build this floor plan, just give me a call at 407-848-8042. Remember, I do not work for or represent the builder. I'm a realtor here helping and hoping to help you. Um, if you're watching this video, hopefully you find them helpful. If you are actually looking to purchase a home or considering it, then the next step is to give me a call again, 407-848-8042. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this YouTube channel so that I uh, can send you updates, um, videos as they come available, as new communities arise, um, new decorated models that we can all just kind of drool over. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Please stay safe, stay well, and happy house hunting.